Hey guys, it's Judy here. I'm going to, it's July the 4th. Let me start there. <laughs> July the 4th. And a whole bunch of our thrift stores in this area is having 50% off. So we're going to Majors right now. And I'm so excited. This is our first stop. Okay. Okay, I'm still in the first one. I'm not recording very much because it's like super busy. It's a cute little purse. And it's, it's actually... <laughs> A sass. Um, felt the rate on that yet. Also, I found these J. Jill shoes. I did not know J. Jill made shoes. Uh, and these are in like really good condition. Um, size 8. I did look these up. I don't think they're going to go for a lot. They're only $5. So half off. So I get them for $2.50. And then if, and these are Taos. Is that how you pronounce them? Um, but these are like in really good condition. So I found those, and let me see how much were they. They were eight, so they're gonna be four. Um, these are for me, they're some compression socks. I found this vintage guess, guess belt is leather, um, genuine leather. So I'm gonna get that with a pre on. So, so anyway. I'm going to go over to clothes now and see what I can find. I'm going to go to jeans first. Okay, I'll see you in a little while. Okay, I think I'm done with the jeans. I got so many jeans, I'm really not like digging and searching. Um, but let me show you what I did. I, I think I found some good ones. It was um, cut from the cloth. It is a size 6. Uh, but I thought they looked nice, in good condition. I've not sold this brand before, and so I just kind of wanted to try how to get these. This is J. Jill. They are a size 18 high rise uh, and then they also the raw hem um, so and they're they're gonna be more of a crop um, type of jeans so anyway okay guys I want to show you real quick what I got at the first thrift store we went to we went to a store called major thrift and we spent $96 Okay, it was $96.28, and a lot of it was um, stuff my husband bought. He bought um, eight, ten, wow, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of watches. But he's planning on cleaning them up so we can flip them. So hopefully that will work. And so cost of goods is approximately about $3.44. I have not taken out my items yet so that the stuff that I bought for personal use still needs to get taken out so so I'm excited I want to show you guys first the accessories and we'll go from there and some of this stuff I know you guys seen um, I did better with my camera I think at the first one than the second one so you'll find out on the second one you'll want to see <laughs> okay I did buy this belt it's that Timberland belt it's 100% leather um, it was really nice. Um, it was $55 originally, made in India. Genuine leather, size 34. And then I got this gas um, belt. Um, I'm not sure if it's vintage. It's in really good condition, and it's also 100% leather. Um, so, and it's a size 30. So, and I showed you guys this purse there. It's that sass. It shows it right here, sass. Um, and it is nice and clean on both sides and then I just love this detail with the two pockets in front with the zippers so I'm pretty excited um, I got these tails um, they um, I always see Kathy Marvin get these <laughs> Kathy yeah that is her name um, but I always see her pick these up um, and so I wanted to try, they are called the Dandy. I like it when they give us the name. And I think they're eight, eight and a half. So, so yeah, very nice. So excited. I think they'll, I think they're going to sell, guys. I think they're going to sell. <laughs> These might not. These were a gamble, but I thought they were really cute. The J. Jill, a nice flat pair of loafers. Um, I need to know. Um, J. Jill even made shoes and I think these are eights. Yeah, and they are a leather upper. This is like suede. So it's very nice, very soft. Okay, now we're going to get into the haul. 
portion. Well, I guess it's all a haul, right? Getting the clothes portion. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the watches, by the way. He did give me a few, but you guys don't want to see a whole bunch of watches. <laughs> okay, this is Nike Golf. It's the only man's item I think I got the whole day. <laughs> but I like this one because of the pocket. I just thought this was different. It's just a simple little pocket. It got the swish there. Um, it probably helped the fact that it was yellow, right? But it's cute. I like it. And it's a good size. I think it was extra large. Which is probably kind of small for a guy, right? But <laughs> anyway, I tried. Okay. And then I did get these. And you're going to find out I got a lot of JGL and I did not realize that. But this is pure Jill. It's a size extra large. And it's just a nice comfy pair of sweats. Got the pockets. Wide legs. And this is all cotton. Well, it does have spandex too. So the cotton is spandex. And then I got this pair of J. Jill um, because it. I think I showed this one to you guys. It's the 18 is a high high rise, um, and it's wide legs. It does have the raw hem. It's more of a cropped pair of pants. So really excited about these. I think these will go good. And I'm sorry, my dog is barking. The oven's on. And she doesn't like the oven being on. Whenever we whenever we turn the oven on, we have to turn the fan on. Because if we don't, if anything drops, it'll set off our smoke detectors, <laughs> which are so loud. And it doesn't just set off one. It set, up, set off the whole place. And the smoke detectors is what she doesn't like. But she knows there's more of a risk. <laughs> She's a smart cookie. Okay, Ann Taylor. I love these. I love the buttons in front. We got pockets up front. They also have pockets in the back, but they've never been used. They are still sold up. And it's a wider leg. Very nice. I'm hoping to list most of this stuff soon. This weekend. I got time next weekend. I'm not, I'm gonna be busy. So I have to try to list as much as I can this weekend. This is also the J. Jill. This is a large, and it is just a pair of black polones. Um, so I just thought they were cute. Practical, comfy, you know. You can wear them. They could pass for slacks. Nobody would know that they're stretchy. <laughs> okay, and then I got one more bag from this store. Oh, I don't, I have not shown you guys this dress. I'm going to take the price tag off so you can see the, I've sold to Hari before. I sold a suit and it sold so fast. I'm hoping the same will happen with the dress, but that's what this is. It's a Tahari and the, the size is a size 16. It says it on a clear. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh yeah, you might be able to. Oh, and I did my nails. I use those stick-on kind street, are they called Color Street or something like that? I was working and I said, you know, I can do this while I'm working. And sure enough, I did. <laughs> you anyway, know, this dress is so cute. It's red. Um, and then it flares at the bottom. So it's just really pretty. This is kind of the type of dress my husband would tell me to twirl in. <laughs> but it does have a zip, so it zips. And let me see if there was material content. What do you guys think? I mean, it's literally not a hem there at all. I just now noticed it, but it doesn't, there's like, it doesn't look like there ever was a hem there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it's polyester rayon elastine. So it feels good. I like it. I'll have to check on that hem though. I mean, I don't know. I didn't notice it at the store. I guess you figured that out, didn't you? Uh, and I love these pants too. 
these are oh and I showed you guys these Adriana um, Goldsmith and for some reason I think that's a good brand I, I don't even know if I looked them up yet but it does have the button fly and they're kind of a yellowish tannish and they also have the raw hem but then you can also do the raw hand and fold it up. And these are just so nice. Love them, love them, love them, love them. They are called the Isabel Button Up. And they are size 32 regular. And someone put a, a W right there, but I don't think that will matter. So, anyway, yeah, I, I like these. These are so cute. Can't get this baby. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> of course, they put the price tag right on his face. I did try to look them up. Um, I'll have to strip them probably and really look to see if I can find any any um, detail. I found the outfit on other babies, but I did not find this exact baby wearing this outfit but very, very close. So I think I found it. And if I did, I could get 30 to $40 out of it. Cute. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Um, oh, you know what, it's on here. Yolanda Bells, it does say Disney, and it has an SA-96, so. So I'm hoping it's good, and there is a tag back here. So I think I'll find them. I think I'll find them. Okay, forgot about him. <laughs> and then my last piece was this suit. I love selling dress suits, and I just thought this one was a must have. It was a little um, higher but because everything was half off. But look how skinny that waist is. Oh my goodness. I didn't even look to see if they matched. That's an eight. Okay, they do. But that's tiny, isn't it? An eight? That's a tiny waist. So anyway, but the, and it's, it's not a like a, it's not long, long, but it's not like super short either. And it does have pockets. Love the pattern of it. Um, and then the suit jacket, a little oversized. You got these big bold buttons on both sides. Is it double breasted? It is, it's a double breasted, no button on the inside. So I can just replace that with any old button. It doesn't need to be the same. Um, it's 100% rayon. That's pretty cool. So anyway, pretty excited. I'm going to be right back. My oven just went off. Actually, I'm done. So keep watching, you guys. The next haul will be up after the end. At the end. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, we're now at Fifth World. Um, and we just got here. We just got done eating. Feeling pretty good now. Got energy. Um, and Fifth World also half off. So I'm pretty excited. I am going to try to do a a little bit more careful about what I pick up because um, I don't want to blow all my money like I did the last place. So um, let's start looking. I'm excited. Da -da. Okay, I'm going to put you down for a little while so I can look. I think this purse is really cute. Um, but let's see if there's a brand in it. Um, I don't think, is that a brand? No, it's a wannabe brand. Yeah, so not getting it. But it was cute. Oh, this one's cute. See that one? That one's cute. Oh, what is it? Relic. I don't think Relic's a good brand, is it? But I was going to say the last time I was here, I found a coach that was like a vintage coach, but it didn't have a price on it. So, needless to say, I didn't get it. Okay, I'm going to show you 
this one. So this is a loose Claiborne. I'm going to pass on that one as well. <laughs> what about this one? Nope, no brand. This is like a barrel bag. That's cute too. But again, no brand. Bummer. Brands is important, I'm finding out. It's cute. Okay, I think it's a dud over here. Oh, nope. Brighton. The Brighton Creek. I don't think that's the Brighton we like. I keep looking to make sure you guys are seeing everything that I'm seeing, but it's hard. I don't know how you guys do it. Another glue is Claiborne. Okay. <sighs> These are cute, but I don't think I've, I recognize that brand. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness, guys. These are cute, but... Whew. They're, they're a lot. <laughs> Not, I mean, high. A lot of high. Hi, yeah. I got a clown. I sell her purses. Free people. Hmm. Oh, weird. What do you guys think? So it's like they wrap up. Let me, I'm gonna put you on pause for a little while, okay? Hang on. Okay, they're in my cart. I decided to get them. Um, I also found, um, I forgot to show you this, um, but this vintage Cabbage Patch doll. So pretty excited about that. So anyway, let's see what else we can find over here. My husband already went out to the car, so I do have to <sighs> not be as long, I guess. It's hard, though. Like these. Um, I think, are these dress barn? These are pretty. But they don't have a brand. Let's see, <laughs> China made circus by Sam Element. I heard that's not his better brand. So, Grey's Anatomy. <sighs> and these look kind of different, but they're really icky fight. <laughs> Not finding anything that's jumping out at me, really. Oh, well, these are oldies, probably. Suzanne Summers. <laughs> Different. Oh, here's a pair of Skechers. Oh, I might have to look up those in a little while. Those didn't look too bad. Okay. I'm going to shut you down for a little while. I'll be back. Okay, guys, in the dresses, I just found this dress. It's uh, Cynthia Rowley, but I thought it was cute. It's just it's kind of a mini flares it is an extra large it does have a uh, pink trim i just thought it was cute so it is half off of 6.98 so i'm going to tops now and i'll let you know what i find okay guys now it's time for the second thrift store this one was made no first one was made this one was thrift world and we spent $36.39 there, so I did better. <laughs> and so my cost of goods there is going $3.31. And 
again everything was half off so it was so nice I think I got 11 items here Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven items. So we're gonna show you real quick. I'm thrilled to find this, and it's probably not gonna be <laughs> very valuable, but I finally found it. Ready? <laughs> I finally found Lululemon. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> You don't know how many times I try to find this, uh, find something, little limit. But this is just a sports bra. It's small. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to get much out of it, but I had to get it. <laughs> it's just like, it's it's what you're supposed to do, right? I, I And I'm so glad I watched so many videos because I knew to look in the bra thing. And it's a size six. So... So yeah, and the funny thing is, this was like stuck in shirts and not in the, the sports bra section. So it makes me wonder if somebody was hiding it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna show you the shoes. And I know I showed you these because we went through the shoes at this one. But got these, um, they are Skechers. I just thought they looked comfy. Somebody would like these. Um, and I don't, is there, I don't know if there was a size on here. I'm thinking there was not a size on here. So I'll have to, I'll have to measure them. Um, there is some where, like right here. So I have to, I'll try to clean that up a little bit, but I don't want to rub too hard. I don't want to mess it up even more. So. And then I got these crazy shoes, and the poor kid at the register had such a hard time putting them in the bag. Um, but so this is wraps around your, the the leg, and I will definitely make it look a lot nicer than what it is here. But probably not now. My bread is done, so I need to go turn the oven off and get my bread out. Okay, kind of something like that, but nicer. <laughs> and it is a size 36, and they're free people. So, so yeah, you have to, I had to do it. I just had to, just to see what crazy things people will buy. I mean, I bought it, so I guess somebody will buy it, right? And then I got a cabbage patch. This was in their um, vintage section at this store. And this is definitely not a cabbage patch outfit, um, but at least it has something on it. So so I will wash this up. I'm trying to see if they have a date on here. It says cabbage patch kids, 1978, but that's um, 1982 maybe, 92, something like that. Anyway, pretty excited. I wish it had the teeth, but it doesn't, but it's still a cutie. Okay. And then I got this dress. Cynthia Rowley, or Raleigh, but it's a really cute little, little um, dress. And like that it looks like. Oh yeah, some of the hem is coming out. So I have to fix that. It's not much. And this is nylon and spandex machine wash, but the it is a extra large. I love the trim around the edge. It's a pink, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. I got this jacket. I thought a suit jacket wasn't a, but this jacket was just so pretty, and it actually lands in. So I'm pretty excited, and it's a. 18W, so it's a good size, and it's just, um, it's it's a woman's. One of the reasons I got it because of the content, it, oh, right up here. Um, so it's wool and cashmere. And I did, um, I looked it over in the store and I did not see any holes in it. So hopefully it's good. I'm gonna go 
check on my bread. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm not a gourmet cook or anything. The bread I was talking about was just garlic bread that's frozen. <laughs> I bought a frozen lasagna and garlic bread for our dinner tonight. When my kids were little, I used to cook like crazy. I was, I loved to cook. I was a baker, um, but not so much now. It's just me and my hubs. <laughs> my poor hubs, right? <laughs> okay, I got this. This was Elaine Bryant. Um, I just wanted to see if it was sell because I don't know. <laughs> I know I got some jeans and they're not selling. So yeah, get a shirt and see if it sells, Judy. But you know, sometimes some things will sell better than other things. I know I sold some Elaine Bryant tops. So, but I thought this one was summery, even though it's long sleeves, it is light and it got the the crochet in the middle it's really thin um, so yeah it's it's really pretty and it is a 26 28 and I want to say it's cotton but it might be polyester dun, 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 dun. and yeah it's cotton so so nice pretty pink pretty color for spring and then this one I thought was Free People. I thought it was a part of Free People, but I found out it's Walmart. And you guys probably already know what I'm talking about. Um, this is Free Assembly. It's a large. Um, it looks super big, bigger size. Does have the elastic. Got the ruffles on the on the shoulders. And it's a three-four sleeve. It's really pretty. Um, I mean, I'm still going to try and see what happens. I probably won't get much for it, but I'm finding out you just never know. <laughs> and this is also a cotton. So, so there was the pants of the same brand and I, uh, they were, um, new with tags and I almost got those, but now I'm kind of, now I'm glad I didn't because, <laughs> because I, you know, they were small too. So. Sorry, doing too much talking. This is, I guess this is Lane Bryant too. If I can find you. Yeah, Lane Bryant. This is a 22-24. And this is so cute. I love the color. I love the bright, the dark green. Um, got the crochet thing in the middle. It is sleeveless. Kind of a V V neck, yeah. So beautiful colors. So yeah. I mean, half off. You kind of just get stuff sometimes. I think. And then the last and final thing is winter. <laughs> but it's a pretty winter. This is a Madewell size medium. And it is a really pretty orange sweater. And so I just thought someone would like this. Long sleeves. I might have to take my sweater shaver a little bit. So anyway. So that's the haul. That's the video. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'm so glad you guys come and listen and leave comments. I've been loving the comments, so thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. I'm enjoying being able to edit. I enjoyed editing my last one, even though it wasn't perfect. It was still it was still fun. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I can get this one together. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, hit those likes for me if you like this video. And if you haven't subbed already, just go ahead and sub for me too. I would so much appreciate it. So, you know, you guys go out there and do your thing. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye.